very good morning dear students under the subject money and banking today i shall take up a very important topic business fluctuations or business cycles what are business cycles business cycles are fluctuations in business and economic activities characterized by alternating periods of prosperity and depression of rising incomes and rising prices and fall in the rate of unemployment and falling incomes and falling prices and a high level of unemployment there are business cycles so business cycles are recurrent ups and downs in the real gdp of a country the fluctuations in business and economic activities are measured by rises and falls in real gdp aggregate demand aggregate supply the level of employment and the level of income in the economy business cycles are very relevant today because the emergence of covid-19 pandemic has really affected all kinds of business and economic activities all over the world and the world economy will be in deep recession or a depression or a trough in the coming months and the global economy is likely to lose 10 trillion us dollars worth of global output because of this widespread pandemic in 192 countries now let us discuss about the four different stages or phases of business cycles there are four well defined and integrated stages or phases of business cycles they are expansion phase expansion phase is also called revival uptrend or we can say the recovery phase so uptrend revival recovery and expansion phase means the same thing then comes peak or prosperity or boom then contraction or downturn or recession and finally trough or depression these are the four phases of a standard business cycle no i repeat i repeat there are four major phases of a standard business cycle well defined and integrated phases number one the expansion phase expansion or revival or upturn or recovery phase number two the peak or the prosperity or the boom the third contraction or downturn or recession and the fourth one trough the deep trough is called a depression or a slump okay a standard business cycle is measured from peak to peak or prosperity to prosperity a normal standard business cycle may last for 4 to 5 years some of them are longer and some of them are shorter i shall just show you the four major phases of the business cycle which i mentioned okay this is the business cycle okay this is the long term growth trend in gdp here we show gdp and level of economic activity at passage of time okay if you look at this this is the expansion phase p at the top then again contraction or recession or downturn then trough again expansion peak contraction trough expansion like this okay this there the nodes just for your understanding i am showing this diagram okay now let us discuss about the four major phases of a standard business cycle number 1 the expansion phase or the revival or the upturn or the recovery phase i told you there are four names for this expansion phase revival phase or recovery phase or what is called you know the upturn the economy is moving forward as the name suggests during the expansion phase of the business cycle the economic activities will start picking up commercial banks will start giving loans business confidence will improve workers also will be confident as they are able to get jobs there will be increase in investment increase in employment increase in production increase in consumption increase in aggregate demand increase in real gdp increase in you know all kinds of economic activities increase in imports and exports expansion of bank credit and improved marginal efficiency capital so that businesses are doing reasonably well okay most of the business firms are able to make profits their profit margins will rise prices will start rising and the economy is really showing some kind some signs of improvement okay now comes the second phase the peak or the prosperity or the boom the expansion phase will end up with 
a very high point which is called peak or prosperity or boom during which time the economy is totally prosperous. All economic activities are booming during the prosperity phase of the business cycle. Business conditions will improve, business expansion will be taking place. All kinds of business people, entrepreneurs will invest heavily on capital goods and there will be increasing investment expenditure, increase in employment, increase in aggregate demand, increase in production, increase in real GDP, increase in profit margins, increase in imports and exports, a multiple expansion of bank credit. Banks are calling people for taking loans, consumers will take more loans from the bank for buying consumer goods and entrepreneurs will take more loans for undertaking investment activities and investment will be reaching at a very high level. Now comes the next phase. Once the economy is booming and prosperous, it won't continue forever. Okay, towards the end of the prosperity phase. When the economy is in prosperous phase, the economy will be operating on its production possibilities frontier and so that there is absolutely full employment of resources or near full employment of resources. Because prosperity is a, according to Professor G. E. Haberler, prosperity is a phase in which okay, the real income consumed, the real income produced, and the real GDP will rise substantially and there will be full employment of resources. And there will be no added resources and you know most of the people who are willing to work and able to work can find job during the prosperity phase. But the prosperity phase will not last forever. The next phase of the business cycle, the third phase is called downturn or contraction or recession. Okay, today in 2020, April 2020, the world economy is in total recession. A recession means a decline in real GDP for two consecutive quarters. For six months or more, if a country's gross domestic product or gross domestic income declines continuously, there will be recession. Okay? Ever since January 2020, most of the countries of the world are in decline. Okay? Because of the widespread okay, occurrence of the COVID-19 novel coronavirus pandemic, the entire world is in standstill. Nearly half the world population is totally and locked down, they are unable to move, there is no geographical mobility, no occupational mobility and all business are in standstill. In this kind of a situation, the world output or the world income will decline drastically. Many forecasts are made, according to some estimates, the real GDP of the world will decline by 6 trillion dollars by end of 2020. Some experts say it can decline even by 8 to 9 trillion. I believe that the GDP of the world may decline by more than 10 trillion dollars by end of this year as most of the world economies are in total recession, okay, it's total standstill. The oil prices are at the lowest level, okay, in 20 years, okay, it is below 16 dollars, you know, for the normal thing. The price has fallen so drastically that almost all countries, all members of the OPEC, Organization of Petrosporting Countries, in the whole, whole of North America, United States of America and Canada, Australia, the whole of Europe, India, China, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Philippines, all these countries will be in recession or a big decline in economic activities. So what exactly is a recession? During the recessionary phase of the business cycle, the business confidence will start fading. Business investment will not be forthcoming. There will be negative net investment as the marginal efficiency of capital falls. The entrepreneurs will be less willing to take risk. Okay, As they are really pessimistic about the future, there will be less investment. Less investment means less employment. Less employment means less production, less production means less income and less real GDP, less consumption expenditure, falling aggregate demand, falling price level, and the economy is being standstill. The fourth and the last phase of the standard business cycle is called trough. A trough means a drastic decline in real GDP, a drastic decline in the level of employment, aggregate demand, consumption expenditure, okay, income, and everything. Okay? This is the lowest turning point of the business cycle. The recession will turn into, you know, a big downturn. That means a drastic decline in aggregate demand, a drastic decline in consumption expenditure of households, a drastic decline in investment spending by business firms, as many business firms will be closed down during a business depression. Business in a depression time, people are totally pessimistic. Bank will be calling back the loans already given earlier. There will be a multiple contraction of bank credit, decrease in money supply, Okay, totally pessimistic outlook for the entrepreneurs. Many millions of workers will be unemployed. Today, just look at the situation of unemployment. More than 195 million people in this globe will lose their jobs within a couple of months. 
okay, already many millions out of jobs. The unemployment by end of 2019 was around 180 million. Okay, this year by July, another 195 million people, more, million people more will lose a job. That means 375 million people out of a labor force of 3,500 million will be without job. That means more than 10 percent labor force in this planet will be unemployed by July 2020 because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, this is very disastrous. Okay, millions of people will be brought below the poverty line. 540, 553 million more people will be living below the poverty line. There will be shortage of food for around 265 million people globally. Okay, there will be a big famine, there will be a big shortage of any kind. During a depression phase or a tough phase, okay, the investment will be totally negative. There will be total pessimism on the part of the business people. The employment level will be very low level. Production, consumption, aggregate demand, everything will be at the rock bottom level and the economy is totally in a parallel stage. Okay? A deep and prolonged trough is called depression. A depression means a decline in real GDP and the level of employment of a country for one year or more. Okay? Many countries will be entering into the phase of depression by end of 2020 because of the COVID-19 corona pandemic. Okay, dear students, having explained the four phases, I have explained to you the depression phase is the most dreadful phase of the business cycle, which means there will be a drastic decline in aggregate demand, drastic decline in investment, consumption expenditure, drastic decline in aggregate demand, drastic decline in employment level, that means very high level of unemployment, and a big fall, a drastic fall in the real GDP of an economy. So that means it will last. Okay, the decline in GDP and level of employment for more than one year as a depression phase. That is the lowest trading point of business cycle. And you know, big decline in output and income is called a trough, is the downturn of the business cycle, but a prolonged slump is called a depression, or you know what is called a, a slump itself in economic activities. Okay. Now having said the different phases of the business cycle, now let us discuss about the causes of business cycles. Business cycles are caused by two sets of factors, internal factors and external factors. Internal factors are those factors which arises from the economic system itself, from within the country. The external factors are those factors which are influences from the outside the country, means external forces of operating outside the nation. Now let us discuss about the various internal factors that will cause business fluctuations. Number one, the first and the foremost Okay, factor influencing business fluctuations is the level of investment. Okay, new investment in capital goods like machines and equipment and factories means okay more employment, more output, more income, and which means definitely the economy will be expanding and there can be business prosperity. Okay, so when you are investing, when the business people are investing more and more money on new capital goods and research and development, automatically there will be technological progress which will reduce the cost of production will encourage investment, employment, output and real GDP in the economy and aggregate demand also will rise. Okay? Conversely, if the level of investment declines in the economy, automatically there will be less employment, less production or less output, less income, less real GDP, fall in consumption expenditure and aggregate demand also fall, the economy will be in contraction or downturn phase. Number two, okay, the second factor influencing of causes of business fluctuations or business cycles are fluctuations in money supply. Okay, if the money supply in the economy increases, automatically rate of interest will fall. Okay, with the falling rate of interest, automatically more consumers will borrow funds for consumption purposes, and more entrepreneurs will take loans for investment purposes. It will increase consumption expenditure, investment expenditure. Ultimately, aggregate demand will increase, the level of employment will increase, income, output, and real GDP will increase. Conversely, if money supply is decreased in the economy, automatically rate of interest will go up which will discourage okay, borrowing by consumers and business people, fall in aggregate demand, fall in employment, fall in real GDP and the economy in recession. Number three, consumers' expectations about the future. If the consumers are expecting a recession in the coming months, like the current situation, everybody is expecting a recession or depression in the coming months, in 2020. Maybe this month itself, many countries are in recession, and many more economies will be entering into the phase of recession and depression in the coming months. So they will be very scared about spending their hard earned money. They will be preserving some money for the future. So their total spending in the economy in the current period will decline, which means there will be less investment, less employment, 
less output, less income, and fall in real GDP, and the economy will definitely enter into a deeper recession or contraction or downturn. On the other hand, if consumers are expecting a prosperous period in the future, they will start spending lavishly because they feel that their jobs are secure, they will be able to get a guaranteed income, and so there will be more okay, consumption expenditure, and we will encourage entrepreneurs to invest more, more investment spending, okay, and more aggregate demand, more real output, more real GDP, more employment, and the economy will prosper us. Point number four, business expectations. The business investment is the most volatile component of the aggregate demand and real GDP because business investment is based on the expectations about future, optimism and pessimism. The business people are optimistic about the future, more investment will be forthcoming, which means more investment means more employment, more output, more consumption expenditure, more aggregate demand, more real GDP, and the economy will be expanding its economic activities. However, if businessmen are pessimistic about the future, there will be less investment forthcoming, there will be net, negative net investment, less multi-efficiency capital, okay, less employment, less production, less income, less consumption, less aggregate demand, and real GDP will fall in the economy will be in recession or contraction or, or downturn. The next factor influencing business fluctuations is expansion and control of Okay, contraction of bank credit. Commercial banks are manufacturing so money. I'll teach you later on how commercial banks manufacture money. They are not only merely okay the purveyors of money, but also in the important sense they are manufacturing so money. They can manufacture money. They can create multiple amount of money with a basic deposit, private deposit given by someone. Okay, that is called the principle of multiple expansion of bank credit. Okay, when commercial banks are able to create more credit, when the central bank is following an expansionary monetary policy. Commercial banks will be willing to give more loans at low rate of interest, which will encourage more borrowing by business community and by households, more consumption, more investment, more aggregate demand, more employment, more output, more income and increase in GDP. If you know there is a multiple contraction of bank credit because of contractionary or you know deflationary monetary policy by the central bank, automatically the rate of interest will be high. Commercial bank will be willing to give less loans to the business people and the consumers which will discourage consumption, investment, employment, output, and real GDP in the economy. Okay, the next factor influencing business fluctuations is, we can say, the technological progress or technological innovation. Professor Joseph Schumpeter, the Austro-American economist, Professor Joseph Schumpeter says that technological innovation, okay, can reduce the cost of production, which will encourage investment activities and can result in business expansion and prosperity. So conversely, if there is a deterioration of technology, Automatically, there will be high cost of production, which will discourage investment. Okay, less production, less employment, less income, and falling GDP, and economic activity will be contracted. The next factor influencing the business fluctuations is marginal efficiency of capital. If the marginal efficiency of capital increases, there will be more investment forthcoming, more employment, more output, more income, and economic progress and economic expansion will take place. If marginal efficiency of capital is declining, there will be negative net in, negative net investment, less. Okay, production, less employment, okay, less income, and fall in real GDP. The next factor is psychological causes. Professor Arthur C. Piku, a Cambridge economist, says that okay, psychological factors can also cause business fluctuations. You know, if people are over optimistic about the future, too much too much of investment will be forthcoming, which itself will destroy the economic fabric and finally the economy will land in a recession or depression. Okay, if people are over pessimistic also, this also will be bad for the economy. And these two, you know, over optimism and over pessimism can also cause business fluctuations. The next factor is the political philosophy of the government. If the government of a country is elected newly, when they are immediately elected, they will try to take some harsh measures like contractually monetary and fiscal policies by increasing taxes, okay, increasing rate of interest, etc., which will discourage borrowing by business community and households, which will cause business recessions and contractions. On the other hand, during the time of elections, they want to do some popular machines to attract voters to vote for them. So they will be following an expansionary policy, expansionary fiscal policy, expansionary monetary policy, which will result in increased supply of credit in the economy, more investment, more employment, more consumption, more aggregate demand, and you know, increase in real GDP and rise in price level economy in the end of the expansion phase. Okay, then comes the demand and supply shocks. Sometimes you no know, some kinds of natural calamities like Hurricane Katrina in 2005, August in America has destroyed lots of production and employment opportunities. Same way, the unprecedented economic crisis or the financial crisis of 2008-2009 led to 
the recession of the global economy because many countries were in recession and really you know that kind of a contagion has spread to all over the world and you know the investment uh, was not forthcoming as entrepreneurs were not optimistic about the future there was less consumption less investment less production less employment less aggregate demand and fall in real gdp and the economy was in recession so these are the internal factors causing okay business fluctuations or business cycles now external factors external factors are external to the economy system the outside forces okay which includes okay the fluctuations in oil prices when opec you know increase oil price by 400% four fold increase in oil prices in 1974 75 resulted in stagflation in the world economy there was inflation with the stagnation of the global economy okay same way in 1979 80 82 they have again increased oil prices then also there was recession in the global economy again we can say so the similar similar way the present covid 19 pandemic the novel coronavirus which has got a very big impact on okay the business fluctuations and business cycles because of this covid 19 pandemic okay almost half the world is locked down okay millions of people as i told you earlier another 195 million, million more people lose jobs okay 553 million more people will be coming under poverty line and so many people will be having shortage of food there can be a famine and the world will be in recession or depression and world economy will lose 10 trillion dollars these are the external factors which cause you know you know business cycles or business fluctuations